Innovation and technological advancement are words that are always linked to engineering. Engineer supplies mathematics and science to address problems and to create machineries, gadgets, or anything that would make a man's work more efficient and to improve humanity's state of being in this world. To cope up with the needs of this ever-evolving society, certain tools, machines, and programs are also created to help an engineer's work easier as they innovate in a more efficient manner. One of it is math. This is my team, and we are Quantum. MATLAB, the language of technical computing, is a programming environment for algorithm development, data analysis, visualization, and numeric computation. One of its features is Simulink. Simulink is a graphical programming environment for modeling, simulating, and analyzing multi-domain dynamical systems. Through this, we have been able to easily simulate 16 quant. But what is a 16 quant? Quadrature amplitude modulation has been widely used in many digital radio communications and data communications applications. So now, we will show you how our team were able to simulate 16 quant easily with the help of simulate. Let's go! To Anna simulate, type simulate in the command window. And this is the diagram for our simulation of 16 quad. First, we have used the repeating sequence stair block. The repeating sequence stair block outputs and repeats a stair sequence that you specify with the vector of output values parameter. Next is the constant block. It is used to generate a real or complex constant value. In this case, it is used to generate the equivalent values of each channel at logic 1 and 0. We have also used the switch block. For this simulation, it is used to represent the adjustment of the corresponding bit value to the equivalent voltage value. The switch block is used hand in hand with the constant block as the inputs and the repeating sequence stair block as the control signal of the switch. When the sequence stair block produces a value of zero, the switch will open to the path to the third input thereby producing a value of one. The same idea is done in the Q prime and I prime channels. The only difference is the value of their outputs. When the repeating sequence stair block produces a value of 1, the switch will then compare if it is greater than 0 and will switch the path to produce a value of 0 0.821. On the other hand, when the sequence stair block produces a value of 0, the switch will open the path to the third input, thereby producing a value of 0 0.22. Next is the sine wave block. In the simulation, we have used it to generate the carrier signal, which is the sine wave, and the 90 degree phase shifted carrier, which is the cosine wave. The frequency is set to 2 pi. For the sine wave, there is a zero phase shift. To generate the other cosine wave, the phase was set to 90 degrees or pi over 2. We have also used the product block. The product block performs multiplication or division of its inputs. In this simulation, it is used to multiply the output dot product of the I and I prime channel to the sine wave and the output dot product of the Q and Q prime channel to the cosine wave. In the 16 quant block diagram, it acts as a balance modulator. And the add block performs addition of the two input elements. In the simulation, it is used to get the I plus JQ form of the modulated signal using 16 quant. Scope block displays signals generated during simulation. It is used to display the output signal. And now we will show you the output signal of 61. Oh the constellation diagram, we have used several functions such as random integer generator, rectangular quam modulator baseband, AWG and channel, rectangular quam demodulator baseband, error rate calculation and display. To show the constellation, we use the transmitted constellation block. And to show the effect of the noise on the constellation, we have used the received constellation block. And that is how we applied Simulink in generating 16 quam. I'm Jetro. I'm Miguel. I'm Cedric. I'm Lois. I'm Diane. And we are Quantum. Quantum.